Standard Room. What up, it's your boy 24K from GoldStandardVoiceTags.com. Today I want to show you guys how to make an 808 using presets in PreSonus Studio One um, version 3. <laughs> it's extremely simple, but you can make a crazy 808. I'm going to show you guys how to do the basics, and then you can add on whatever it is you want to add on later. Um, first things first, you need an instrument track open. If you don't know how to make an instrument track, you just go up to the T up here, the plus sign, and you you know put this on instrument. You put one or whatever, or how many, of, how many you need, and then you hit OK. But I'm not going to do that because I already have my instrument track open. Next, you want to open up Browse. The next thing you want to do is open up the folder that says PreSonus. Right here, you'll see Mai Tai. You drag and drop Mai Tai onto the track. Boom. Mai Tai opens up. The next thing you want to do, for me, I like to use these presets because it gets me to the desired result much more quickly than, you know, trying to tweak everything. Even though this is a very simple recipe that you can cook up actually without a preset. But I'm going to show you guys how to do it with the preset. Um, you want to come down here to Bells and go ahead and pick Belladonna. Boom. So now we have Belladonna open. The very first, the very first thing we're going to do now that we have Belladonna open is we're going to take this spread all the way down. It's playing with me. Okay. Take the sub all the way down. Boom. Now that we've got that, we can leave oscillator one alone. The next thing we want to do is turn off oscillator two. Uh, noise is already off. We're going to come back to that in a second. Characters already off. We're going to you know, leave that off. Uh, filter, take it off. LFO one, LFO two, take them off. And boom, we're done. The next thing you want to do is come over here to monophonic. You want to turn it to monophonic because that allows for one note to play at a time, meaning that one note will cut another note off. Let me show you exactly what I mean. When it's in poly polyphonic, it runs the notes together. When it's in monophonic, there's some reverb on there, but it does cut the notes off. And I'm going to show you. Matter of fact, let's take these effects off because we also need to take those off as well. Boom. Boom which is already on effects A, and then we go to effects B, and we turn off our EQ and turn off our distortion. Now you can hear it a little bit better. Monophonic versus polyphonic. That's why we're choosing monophonic. Anyway, now that we've got that, you can kind of hear that the 808 already sounds like it's almost done. It's just a few more things that we need to take care of, like the fact of the matter that it doesn't ring as much as we would want to. So... What we're going to do to fix that is we're going to come up here to our release and we're going to drag that out to about, mm, let's say about six, six and a half seconds. Boom. So now you get that ring. The next thing that I that I hear is the fact that the matter this is pop on the front of the kick. And I don't like that. So let's get rid of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll this attack back a little bit. We're going to roll it back maybe a good, ah, that's too much. Let's come back down to maybe about a good 24 milliseconds. And we've gotten rid of that already. So remember I told you that we're going to come back to noise? Well, here we go. Noise adds just some harmonics and distortion and it just sounds so good when you add noise on there it just adds a little bit more character they should have called that character because uh adds a little dirt on there now that's a little bit aggressive so we're going to turn the level of that down and we're going to turn the color up once we do that maybe turn the level a little bit up a little bit back up yeah yeah yeah, that's it right there. So with that being said, oh, just a little bit. All right, cool. So now that we have that set, our 808 is pretty much done. So uh, I have a track already loaded up that I needed some uh, 808s in already. So I already have it. I'm going to let you hear some of it uh, prior to where I need the 808s. And then I'll let you hear the part where I actually play it in.
So you can see in that little part, I actually need uh, drums. So with that being said, I'm going to actually play this in right now. I don't know if you realize, but I had to actually stop the video because the quantize just went crazy on me. But I got it fixed, and now I want you guys to be able to hear the 808. So I'm going to play it for you. I mean, it's an 808. It's banging, right? Now, you can add a little bit more punch to this if you have... Uh, like in like another kick you would like to layer on top of this So that's what I'm gonna do just so that you know I can show you guys exactly what I mean because I like my stuff to you know jump. Now go out there and have some fun go ahead and make you some beats <laughs> anyway, just bear in mind that you can get this beat and a whole bunch of other free beats on goldstandardvoicetags.com when you sign up for a free newsletter. Come on now. Free beats on top of the free newsletter? Come on now. But anyway, uh, also, you can get a free 30-day trial of PreSonus Studio One version 3 at presonus.com. But thank you for watching. This has been How to Make an 808 in PreSonus Studio One version 3 on Gold Standard TV. Peace. Gold Standard Room.